I'm John Smizer from the Southern California area, and it's good to come to you and share with you these days on God's Word, and today we'll be looking at Psalm 60. Today is All Hallows' Eve. Uh, it's the preparation and looking forward to the recognition of those saints who've gone before us on All Saints' Day. And I just pray that we remember those people who have been faithful to share the message, the message we received and heard and how we came to know the Lord. Today we're going to be looking at this uh, chapter 60 or Psalm 60, and we're going to recognize that this is a instructional psalm. It's in the heading itself. It's to teach us. And so in it we'll truly look for what is the lesson God has for us? What is his instruction or his teaching for us? And you know, already recognize that our instructor, our teacher is the Holy Spirit. So as we go into this psalm, may we be ready to hear from him this day. May we be ready to hear his words of guidance in our lives. I want to encourage you as you spend this day not to allow it to be a time that is used to glorify the counter God, the Antichrist, those who are contrary to God's love and graciousness. As we have this All Hallows Eve or Halloween, may we truly look to God, our Savior, the one who loved us this day. Bless us as we look to this passage. Psalm chapter 60, verses 1 through 12. For the director of music, to the tune of the Lily of the Covenant, a miktam of David, for teaching. When he fought Aram Naharaim and Aram Zobah, and when Zoab returned and struck down 12,000 Edomites in the Valley of Salt, you have rejected us, O God, and burst forth upon us. You have been angry. Now restore us. You have shaken the land and torn it open, mend its fractures, for it is quaking. You have shown your people desperate times. You have given us wine that makes us stagger. But for those who fear you, you have raised a banner to be unfurled against the bow. Selah. Save us and help us with your right hand, that those you love may be delivered. God has spoken from his sanctuary. In triumph, I will parcel out Shechem and measure off the valley of Sukkoth. Gilead is mine, and Manasseh is mine. Ephraim is my helmet, Judah my scepter. Moab is my wash basin. Upon Edom I toss my sandal. Over Felicia I shout in triumph. Who will bring me to the fortified city? Who will lead me to Edom? It is not you, O God. You have rejected us and no longer go out with our armies. Give us aid against the enemy, for the help of man is worthless. With God we will gain the victory, and he will trample down our enemies. Here we have Psalm 60, and we're going to look here before the verses. In that little title section, it describes what's going on, and there is an encounter David has uh, to the north of Israel that he's challenging but then he's going to be attacked from the south through the Edomites. And right there in the middle on the second line, right in the middle, it says, for teaching. Because lessons of life from those who've gone before, they're important for us. We need to learn from them. And as we look at this psalm, we recognize at verse 1 here, it says, You have rejected us, God, and burst upon us. You have been angry. Now restore us. Now, I want to remind you of a time when the Israelites had come into the promised land, into Jericho, and they had had a wonderful victory when all the walls came down, and God had told people not to take any of the plunder. But there was one man named Achan who took the plunder. Now, he hid it under his uh, tent, and then the next battle that the Israelites all went out to go against, some little podunk small town, and this small town defeated them. 
where the mighty Jericho, God was with them and destroyed Jericho. But something was wrong in the camp. Somehow things had gone wrong, and God was not with them in the battle at Ai. It was Achan who had sinned. So when all of a sudden we're going to look at this, and it says, you have rejected us, God. Now, there's a time in each of our lives, maybe we need to reflect upon things. Not like yesterday when the psalmist reflected and said, I've done nothing wrong. Maybe in this setting, a lesson we can learn when things don't go the way we would hope them to go, or things that go against us at times, maybe we need to take a little time and ponder, consider, is this something God's trying to get my attention? Is there a point here he's trying to make, and therefore he's not going into battle with me? He's not the victory that I'm expecting. He's allowing me to stumble along. But if I will, in this prayer, there's an opportunity for me to repent and turn from it because it was the, the request the psalmist had, now restore us. He began this prayer and saying, Lord, somehow that's not right. Will you restore us? Goes on down here in verse three, it says, you have shown your, de your people desperate times. You have given us wine that makes us stagger. We just don't know what's going on. Somehow the circumstances we're confused by. And in verse four, but for those who fear you, you have raised a banner to be unfurled against the bow. Now this has to do with that those who understand that somehow God wants to get their attention, he wants to say something to them, they're ready to listen. And so those who fear you, that's the key issue. It's not a fear of, oh, he's going to beat me up or he's going to destroy me. No, it's a fear of recognizing he's God and you and I are not. And we need to look to him in all these ways. It goes on in verse 5 here. Save us and help us with your right hand that those who love you may be delivered. So there's an area of fearing God and an area of loving God, that he will be our strength in those battle times. Now it goes on as uh, David's army went north to do battle, and then the Edomites in the south came after them, and Joab rushed to the south. And, and in this section of verses 6 through 8, he talks, God talks about that this land's my land, and I'm going to do with it the right thing. And then in verse 9, it says, who will bring me to the fortified city? Who will lead me to Edom? Is it not you, God? You have now you are now the one who has rejected us and no longer go out with our armies like he didn't go to Ai. Lord, you're the one who we're going to need in this battle. And then verse 11, and I'd love you to underline this in your book or in your Bible. Verse 11 and 12, give us aid against the enemy for human help is worthless. Did you hear that? Remember that. We may think about, oh, if we have this missile or this tank or this army that we'll be able to handle everything. But it says, for human help is worthless. Verse 12, with God, we will gain the victory. He will tramp, trample down our enemies. We're going to have a victory, but is it our, in our own strength? Not at all. It's in God's strength. It's in Him where we will find the victory. This psalm is a great teaching. Whatever you're battling today, look to God for the answer. Living life. It's like a dance. We're learning to dance with God. 
Sometimes I don't know if you remember when you tried an athletic event or some endeavor when all of a sudden you tried to bowl your first game of bowling. And boy, I think I got like 20 uh, pins down. I mean, just it was in the gutter all the time. When, when we recognize that the more we practice, the more we learn to dance, we learn the moves of the one we're with, the better the dance will go, the better the activity will go. Today, I want to encourage you that we've been instructed to look to God, to dance with Him, to let Him lead us, and we will have victory. Will you pray with me? Heavenly Father, today you are the great God who loves us. And I want to come up into the throne room of your presence. I want to bring my friends with me. And Lord, we want to come up near to you. And we want to say, Papa, Daddy, help us. Help us when we don't listen. Call us to yourself. Have us pay attention to you, Lord, and strengthen our ways. Lord, we are your children. We look to you as the one who alone can guide us through each day, each week, each year of our life, until that ultimate time, Lord, when we will be in your presence. As we trust in you, as we fear you, as we love you, Lord, there is that promise you will support and guide us. Father, thank you for this psalm today. Go with us and guide us. To your glory we ask this. Amen. This program is produced by the 시청자 여러분의 소중한 후원으로 제작됩니다. <목소리>